Welcome to this episode of Tiakau TV. We've got a bit of an exciting um, Saturday ahead, and obviously we've got an exciting Sunday with the Group One Live More Classic at Hastings. Well, today Jamie had a great win at Tauranga with Mongolian Conqueror. Yeah, really nice horse, Julia, who made more of the really run. So James Sally actually bought Tiakau Shark out on. Um, you know, he's a, uh, an exciting staying sort of horse for after Christmas, and um, you know we'd like to think that he could end up in, in some of those better three-year-old races a bit later on. Yeah, well, that was definitely a bit of excitement today. Wow, heading to the Saturday and Sunday preview, we'll start at Ashburton with our team in the south. In the third race with Michael McNabb aboard, we have Imperium. Yeah, he's uh, um, he's, he's a difficult horse to try and get a line on. Um, when he's good, he's very good. Uh, when he doesn't want to be there, he is hopeless. So hopefully he's the real deal tomorrow. We think he's going to appreciate being back on a better track. And his work at home has been encouraging. So uh, probably hopeful rather than confident that he'll run well. But if he turns up on the day, he, he can beat this field. Right, well, come on, Imperium. Then we have Age of Fire in the Group 3 Barnswood Farm Stakes. Yeah, really exciting colt that um, we've had a bit of an opinion on for a little while now. He was very good in the Guineas trial on a soft track. Uh, looking forward to seeing him on a better track uh, tomorrow. It's a, it's a very good field. Prom Queen's in there and uh, the Holly um, talked about 10 today as well. So we're going to get a lot on him as we head towards the Guineas, but we're just going to ride him a little bit quieter and um, like to see him really attack the line as we look to mile next time with him. But he's a lovely colt and uh, we expect him to run well. And then in race 10, we have Heart of Courage with Michael McNabb aboard. Yeah, he, he ran really well uh, first up this preparation for a good third. It's a shame he got left in front um, a little uh, way from home. He's a horse that um, we'd like to ride a little bit quieter on uh, Saturday tomorrow. And do believe that um, if he gets the right run in transit and, and attacks the line like we think he can, he should be hard to beat. Awesome, and then we head to Rotorua. We've got a big team at Rotorua tomorrow. We've got Nucleonic in race one with Cameron Lammis aboard. Yeah, her work's been spot on. Um, she's a, a very speedy filly that uh, obviously gave a friend in it and races uh, with some friends. So looking forward to getting her back to the track. Uh, her work, as I say, has been spot on and she should give a good account of herself. And Zambezi Warrior, one of my favourites in race six with our apprentice Tegan Newman aboard. Yeah, he's a staying horse resuming. Um, he can run a cheeky race fresh up, but expect uh, him to improve when he gets out over further. And in the same race, Royal Success with Opie Bossom? Yeah, blinkers go on. Uh, ran very well at Royal Kanaka last time. I uh, think he's a, a very good chance in this race. And then in the same race, our Aberdeen? Yeah, she's uh, probably quite similar to that BG Warrior, a mare that we think would appreciate getting over a bit more ground this preparation. Uh, her form last year was very good and looking forward to seeing her on a better track on Saturday. And race seven sees Splurge make his return with Opie Boss on board. Yeah, the horse that we, we rate very highly. Um, he didn't have a lot, uh, a lot of luck in Brisbane through the winter, but I've um, uh, been very pleased with the way he's come back. And you know, this is a, a pretty good race to kick him off in, so we're going to get a bit of a line on where he's at. Uh, his trials have been good, his work's been good, and I um, expect him to be hitting the line very strongly. And Princess Devone in race eight with Tegan Newman aboard. Drawn slightly awkward, but uh, has won at Rotorua uh, before, and with the apprentice allowance, probably just let her slide forward a bit from out there. So, um, you know, if she can uh, uh, put her best foot forward, she's, she's a good each way chance. And in the same race, don't blame the music with Cameron Lammis aboard. Yeah, he's a, a serious horse. He's two from two. Um, he has a trial. Uh, just with the wet weather, we, we weren't prepared to risk him. He's coming back from a, from a slight injury hold-up, but he's been away for a few gallops. He's been to Sarapa and Tampa, and we believe he's fought enough to run a big race. Right, and then we head to Hastings for the Livermore Classic Day on Sunday. In race three, we have Hush with Opie Boss on board. He, he, he ran OK at Royal Carter, over 1,400, a distance long short of his best. Uh, this mile race is, is ideal for him. Uh, but don't expect to see the best of him until he gets up, at, up over 2,000 metres. Right, and then we head to the Group 1 Livermore Classic. It's uh, the rerun. We've got Chance to Dance with Leith Innes aboard. 
Yep, um, very pleased with this horse. He won well uh, his first uh, start this campaign at, at Pukekohe. Um, he's, he's done all his work with Ginger Nuts all the way through, so um, he'll, he'll slide forward a little bit from the gate. He usually likes to race pretty handy to the speed, and um, uh, if he can get the right run in transit, he's certainly a very good each way chance. And then we have Ginger Nuts obviously in the same race. Yeah, very, very pleased with him. Uh, his work at Matamata last Saturday in an exhibition gallop was very strong. He's done well during the week. And um, all things being equal, he, he should be very hard to beat. Um, you know, he's drawn out a little bit, but he's going to get back and he'll be sweeping into the race at the right time. And, um, you know, hopefully he can get a good passage in the race. it be hard to beat. That sounds good to us. All right, Jamie, in the south and north, or would you like to pick one? Give us your best bet. Uh, we'll go Ginger Nuts on Sunday. Um, uh, big fan of the horse. He's, he's in super order and uh, really looking forward to getting him back to the races after being held up last uh, Hopefully um, he will run well and, and we can hit him out with him from here. Great. All, all eyes on the tangerine machine this weekend.